In this tutorial, I will show you how to combine for loops with vectors in C++ so you can easily go through all elements of the vector to read the elements, modify them, or whatever else you want to do. I will first show you how to do that with a standard for loop and then with a modern C++ for loop. So I have a code here that just contains uh, so the declaration and initialization of a vector, so of type integer, and this is user age list with uh, four elements. So now let's say you want to go through all elements of the array to read them or modify them or whatever. You can use a simple for loop, for example, using this, so for int i is equal to, uh, let's say, zero, and then i lower than so user age list dot size and then i plus plus so what do we do here we start at zero why is that because well the first element actually of any array of index has the index zero and then we go through all of the elements until we reach the size okay so here the size is gonna be four okay so you have the index zero one two three so for index 0, 1, 2, and 3, we're going to stay in the for loop. When we get to the number 4, okay, with plus plus, we increase by 1 every time. So when we get to i is equal to 4, 4 is actually outside of uh, this list. So then we go out of the for loop, okay? So by using this, starting at 0 and going until, so we're strictly lower, going until the size of the vector using the size functionality, you are sure to go through all elements of uh, the vector. So now if you want to print each element, so I have already included iostream here, as you can see, you can do std, see out, and let's say user h list dot at, and then you simply i, okay, which is the index in the for loop. Um, and then let's do std and line. Let's run that, and you can see we have all elements of the vector on a separate line. Now what you could do also, let's say that, so this is a user age list. Now let's say that one year has passed, and everyone in uh, the list, of course, has one more year. So if you want to modify the elements, you can also do that. So for example, user age list at I, and you can just modify that as you would modify uh, outside of the for loop, okay? Just with at, but here instead of directly hard coding a number, you use uh, the index here. And let's do actually plus plus to increment by one. Okay, let's run uh, this again. And now you can see that all elements of the array has been uh, modified, okay? You can see now plus one for each element. So that's a very useful way here to use a for loop to modify or to get all elements of the list. One thing to pay attention to and not to do inside a for loop is to actually modify the size. Okay, so if you want to remove or uh, add some elements while you go through this array, specifically while you go through this array, it's best not to change the size of this array while you are inside a for loop inside this array. Okay, just uh, something to keep in mind. All right, and now let's see how to do that, but with a more modern C++ for loop, okay? So I'm going to keep this here, and I'm going to do here for int user age colon user age list and open close curly brackets. So this basically, so this is a different structure than this for loop here. This is a more classic one. This is a very specific one to go through an array or specifically here a vector. So what you do is first on the left, you create a variable, okay? That is going to contain each element, okay? One by one here in uh, the curly bracket. Then you add colon and then the list. So what it's gonna do is first, for the first iteration of the for loop, it's gonna put the first element here inside the user age uh, variable that you can use here. Okay, after this, it's gonna put the second element, the third, the fourth, etc., until you go through all of the elements. So if you want to print the element, you can do std c out user age and then std endline. 
work. I'm just going to comment this here and just run that. Okay, you can see we go through each element of the array. And here you don't need to worry about uh, the counter, about the index, about whatever. You just have user age that you use every time. So it adds a bit more context okay, in the for loop, so it makes it more readable. And also make sure that you don't modify the size of the list directly when you are in this for loop, because you could get some weird behaviors. Okay, You can get some elements, modify the elements, but try not to add or remove elements. Okay, so now we read the element. Now what if you want to actually modify, so what if we want to do the same thing here? Okay, we want to add one to each element, for example. Well, here you could do a list dot add with the index. But now we don't have any index, we don't have anything. And the user age, well, we can't modify this variable. So what can we do? So if you want to make the elements uh, modifiable, what you can do is simply add here an ampersand, okay, to make this as a reference of the element, okay? And when you make this as a reference to the element, you can do user age plus plus, for example, because you're going to directly modify the element inside of the array. This is not just now a copy of the element. This is directly the reference to the element in the array. So let's run that. And now you can see we have plus one for each. And well, actually, to show you in a better way, because here we just modify the user age and print the user age. But let's say I'm going to do this. So I'm going to modify first each like this. So I'm going to modify each element first in the first for loop. And then with another for loop, I'm going to print uh, the element. So let's run that. So you can see now, okay, we have the result plus one for each element. So in this for loop, we use the reference. In this for loop, we use a copy. Okay, because here we just want a read access, here we want a write access. If you like this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn C++ step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.